What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. Today we are working on the Kawasaki KLX. I am planning on doing some night riding with it soon, so we are gonna be adding a headlight. I'm also planning on registering it for some street use, so that headlight is gonna be DOT approved. So I'm gonna show you how to wire that up. The same process is gonna to apply to pretty much all dirt bikes that have a built-in battery and electric starter. So let's get started. Here are all the parts and supplies that we're gonna be using for today's project. This is a Polysport halogen headlamp. It's 35 watts, which is plenty for what we're using this bike for. It is also DOT approved. This is a universal unit, however, so we might have to make some modifications to get it to properly fit the KLX. But I've been using their products on my YZ250 and I've been pretty happy with the results. Here's a spool of 14 gauge wiring. I like to use this one specifically because the positive and negative cables are stuck together until so you separate them so the install looks pretty clean. Uh, universal wiring terminals. This is just a generic on off switch for the headlamp that I've been using for my razor project. I think it was like five or six bucks on Amazon. Been working really well. I think I've used this like five times. Inline fuse, I'm using a 10 amp fuse, should be enough for this type of headlamp. Uh, just some wire strippers and crimpers and some zip ties to secure the wiring while we're routing it. And just some basic tools to remove the plastic panels to access the wiring and the battery, which in this case for a KLX is just an eight millimeter and a 10 millimeter. First step is to remove the plastic panels and the seat so that we can access the battery and properly route the wiring to the front. To remove the front number plate, it's just an eight millimeter bolt here, and then you pop it upwards and it'll pull right off. The side panels are secured by these eight millimeter bolts. And then there's a clip in here you have to undo. So you pull the panel outward and then you slide it back once you have the bolt removed. Should pop right off and give you access to the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the seat in place. This is what that looks like. So once you get those two bolts off, you slide the seat back. It'll pop right off and give you access to the battery, which should be right over here. The left hand side panel actually ripped off when I dropped the spike. I recently took it to South Carolina with me and I may have dropped it once or twice. And Here are the two terminals we needed to access to power the headlamp. The left one is the positive, right one is the negative. I'm planning on routing the wiring through here under the fuel tank and come out front through this loop. I did find a 12 volt power source over here on this connector. This goes to the factory power switch, but I didn't want to modify the factory harness on such a new bike. So I decided to leave that alone. You do have that option if you want to do so. Here's everything that came with the Polysport Halo headlamp kit. It's very simple really, it's just a housing, four vibration reduction straps, which is what you actually use to secure it to the fork. Uh, you'll notice there's two sets of brackets over here. One is wider than the other. You can bolt these on to the mounting points on the back of the headlamp to position it closer to or further away from the fork. It really depends on your application to see what fits best for your bike. Hardware for it, and then the wiring for the headlight bulb itself is very simple. The left one is the ground. Top pin is for low beam. The right pin is for high beam. Uh, they have it laid out very simply back here for you on this diagram. It's just like a H4 bulb for a car. So here's a 35 watt bulb. Uh, so maximum power is the right pin. Left side is the ground. There's also a daytime running light. You'll see there's a four watt bulb here. Over here, if you want to wire that up, here's what that looks like. The finish of it, the outside is matte and then the metal section is gloss. The color matches the Kawasaki plastics perfectly. Like it blends right in. Looking over the fork, it does look like my choke is positioned right in the center, which is unfortunate because it's going to interfere with the backside of the housing. So I might need to reposition that off to the side so we can get proper clearance.
Got the headlight temporarily mounted on the bike so I can show you what orientation I decided to go with. I went with the narrower brackets. I think it's properly fitted for this application. I also moved the choke over to the side. So it leaves a lot of clearance on the back side of the headlight for the wiring. I also bent the brake hose inward so we can tuck the front brake line inside the headlamp. I think the front end looks a lot cleaner this way. Before I reinstall the headlight, I just want to go over the wiring and how it's done. It's much simpler than it looks. There's only two wires that hook up to the back of the headlight. One is a negative, one is a positive. This black wire, there's no break in between this and the terminal that hooks up to the negative post of the battery. The positive, however, which is already hooked up, I have an inline fuse. And from that inline fuse, it goes to the switch. And from the switch, it goes to this white wire. All this switch does is either complete a circuit to turn the light on or break the circuit to turn it off. It almost looks like it came this way from factory. The green and white blend right in with all the other panels. It's nice and bright. It's still hooked up as a low beam currently. I don't wanna hook it up as a high beam until I see how it aims on the street. I may consider doing that later on, but overall I am very happy with how it turned out. I think I was able to get this whole thing done for under $80, which I thought was amazing. Per usual, I'll leave a link in the description for all the parts that I used for this project today. But if you found today's video helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of my projects, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.